There are no easy infections, but there are simple infections. We must have the courage to do what we know is virally right. Who's that blowhard? He's Ronald Rabies. Heard of him? The president of the viruses? So what? I'm a hepatitis strain. You're an Ebola strain. I don't need a leader to tell me how to infect. I'm only asking what he's saying. He's making a few changes. Two strains to a body is out. He wants five or more. Gone are the days of the body politic. He's pushing sweeping organ-based policies. Five to a body, twice as much as two. I don't want to get stuck in here when the number went up from one to two. Don't blame me. <laughs> I didn't even vote for the guy. Titus, I was going to the Petri polling place and I believe your response was... <coughs> I don't support any candidate opposed to the pizza party platform. A candidate needs strong stance on oregano. Your pizza infatuation is mind-boggling. I remember it smelling like boiled cheese in here. I was starring it. It was an extra special yeast infection cocktail from that batshit nurse. Don't talk about her. I should have never forgiven you for stealing my love. Not this again. Listen, Ernie. She was never your woman. You were enamored by that fine-looking cut. The fine-looking what? Her supple bleeding cut. Right there, poorly infecting, and you did nothing. I was courting her with my lover's song. I heard that, and it sucked. <laughs> she and I decided we heard too much. That doesn't make it all right for you to take Carrie away from me. Carrie, huh? <laughs> so that's what her name was. She was no good. Vaccinated to within an inch of her life. Women need more role models like Jenny McCarthy. If you ask me, I did you a favor. Favor? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, a favor, kid. It could have been you. It wasn't me. It's never me. Why is Ronald Rabies infecting that monkey? This guy's a fucking asshole. Just stay positive, don't be negative when I'm on the way. The world is mine, so oh, oh, positive, and I'm here to stay. And there's an outbreak of me everywhere. Nowhere to run, just simply to spare. Their livers are weak, immune systems destroyed. Heart is beating like a void. Just stay positive, don't be negative, and I'm on my way. The pandemic's mine, so oh, oh, positive, and I'm here to stay. And I'm Do I really have to be there? I don't see how this affects me. Actor slash president Ronald Rabies was pretty clear. Five to a body. We need to pick who will live with us and affect your life every day of your life. I'm not going to debate the finer points of Rabonomics with you, but I have plans this afternoon. I was going to slide down into the spleen. You spend too much time in that spleen. I just want to chill with some pepperoni slices and filter about with some red blood cell. The spleen needs me to start the party. I made all the arrangements. I did all the work. Just sit down and shut up while I beat some potentials. You know, you're getting to be like that Nazi rebella. Come here, Titus. Do this, Titus. The spleen is bad for you, Titus. You know, Nazi shit. 
I'm not gonna like these roomies anyway. I don't doubt it. I think the problem is finding someone who wants to live with you. <laughs> someone disease this way comes. She ain't here for the living arrangements. Listen, gorgeous. I just need to head down to the ATM. Then you'll get your money's worth. I'm paying you to enjoy me. Uh, I think you have me confused with someone else. An STI, perhaps? I know I remember you from someplace. <laughs> Do you remember me? <laughs> the name's Titus. Hepatitis. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? Very nice to meet you, miss. My name is Ernie. So you do remember me, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> You're tuberculosis. Please. Tuberculosis is my mother. You we, can call me Lo. We used to date. Untrue. Well, <laughs> we used to fool around when I let her. Also false. I used to follow her around from platelet to platelet. One time I let her let me feel her up behind a polyp. Mm, accurate. I guess that puts you out of the contention. To know Titus is to know that you don't want to live with Titus. 150 million people live with me. <laughs> Boom. Guys, back to me. Titus is repulsive, for sure, but your bloody apartment is better than nothing. Oh, thank you for noticing the blood. Well, that settles it. I see no reason why we wouldn't want to... And what about my opinion? What opinion? A minute ago, you didn't even want to be here. I think me and you <laughs> should do some thinking. Am I right? We should think this over. Think of the possibilities. A real group think, if you catch my drift. A thing... Let's go to the brain. So here's the deal. You can have Lo as long as you promise to never talk about that Casey thing again. What? I don't want Lo. That's not what we're here talking about at all. And her name is Carrie. What? <laughs> you don't want a lovely strain of TB to S your D until you C then you L? Listen, I'm making you a deal. One that is slowly ticking away. Tickery dickery dock, bub. We're looking for a roommate here, Titus. Neither of us should be banging a roommate. Besides, I don't want to be with anyone who would let you do anything near Apollo. Whoa. I never thought you'd stoop as low as slut shaming. She's a strong, independent woman that can make her own choices. Anywho, I hardly even remember her, so I know she's just here to reproduce. I'm getting ahead of myself. Logan, stay. I should concentrate on getting you the hell out. I sense a lot of anger. Where's all this coming from? You! It's coming from you! You stole my girl, you turned up here, in this body, and expected a place to live. You're horrific! All day, every day! Now you're just projecting. Hello, my name is Marnie Marburg. I'm inquiring about the flat. Hey girl, I'm Lo. You could say I just moved in myself. Happy to take care of the interview process for you. Please, take a seat. Oh, I love the decor. I arranged the room and splashed the blood on the walls. So posh. Full disclosure, there are two guys who live here. One woeful, pathetic soul and the other a vile slob of a strain. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I've never met a virus I couldn't handle. Ooh, feisty. You're jumping to the top of my roommate ranking system. Oh, there's a system. Of course. Anyway, on to the scenario-based interrogation. We're out at a club, and I have my phone out, ready to drunk vile my ex. What would you do to stop me? Well, I would. That was awful. He was an SDI, and he would have stuck around forever. While I am thinking about it, if anyone is ever asking for TB, you tell them I got eradicated. Got it? Got it? Got it? Me and you shouldn't be enemies. Why not? 
Life's hard for strains these days. Ronald Rabies is putting the squeeze on us. I don't want to find a new place to live. You know, that woman that you pine over? She was filthy. Don't talk about her like that. Uh, ooh, yes. Cosmetic blood transfusions. I'm done thinking. <laughs> Hello, you two. I started our next interview. You are kidding me. All the work and planning that I did. Stop lying. Stop talking. Stop thinking. I was leaning towards admitting low. Thank you, Ernie. And I would like to introduce Marnie Marburg. Hello, hello. Shall I talk to you two about redecorating the foyer? I wouldn't say you're in just yet. Why not, Ernie? What's a Fuhrer, kid? Do we have a Fuhrer? Well, it's more of an abscess. Listen, Ernie. Marnie and I have just as much swing in how these organs operate as you two straight. That's correct. Maybe we'll vote to reject the two of you. Wow, Marnie. Looks like you're rising up in the roommate ranks. There's a ranking system? Yeah. Guess where you are. Stick to the matter at hand, kid. We have squatters in our place. <coughs> Tighter. <laughs> Last. Last place. Intruders! Woo, 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 woo. Talk about squatting. Let's talk about last month's rent you owe me and all the cable and hot zone porn mag subscriptions. First of all, who subscribes to porn anymore? Open a computer, search anything. Secondly, I know what all of this is about. Her name was Carrie. Ooh, there's drama here too. Meow. Really? Sounds like a rather trite love triangle to me. Hey, that diminishes what I feel right now. You don't like gossip, Marn? Ugh, that really slips your rank. Um, you could call me Marnie or Miss Marburg, thanks. Uh, well, Miss Marnie, that'll set you back a few points. Oh, and what else goes into your ranking system? It sounds like a categorically crystal clear crazy confirmation conundrum. Are you sure you're not just concerned because of your ranking? He needn't worry. There's no way that he won't be last. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean... Yes, analysts! I bet therapists warned me about these stressors! Therapy can't fix you being a miserable bastard, Ernie. We're best friends. You're supposed to back me up. But here you are, shacking up with my old squeeze and Eliza Doolittle. My best friend? My old squeeze? My fair lady? All sounds accurate to me. <laughs> well, you definitely have Marnie spot on. Although I am a little surprised you pulled off a literary reference. Yeah, I didn't know Dr. Doolittle had a daughter. Well, if you followed the saga, you would know that Dr. Doodle did have a daughter. Marnie, your interview read like cosmopolitan socialite, but you've been acting more like a prissy asshole. How dare you? I don't need this. I'll kick you out of here. Intruders! wee hoo wee hoo wee hoo I, I can't handle this! I can't handle this! Shut it, Melon Ernie. That wasn't even remotely clever. <laughs> oh, Marty's looking down on someone. That's a change. Spring crackers. Don't even. What are you all doing here? Oh, we're picking a roommate. Yeah, Scrams. But uh, this is my host. Aw, oh, shit.